Hi everyone, my name is Wawa and I'm back with game number one of the finals of the Funkman Margarine Mini Tournament hosted by Clive and Evil Box. Now this is game number one of the finals again and it's gonna be a Protoss versus Zerg matchup, my favorite matchup to watch. And it's gonna be hidden here spawning as the orange Zerg at the bottom position and his opponent is gonna be Death. Spawning as the red Protoss at the top left spawning position. Now we are going to do this matchup right here at Jungle Basin. Now Jungle Basin is always a fun match, fun map to play or no, excuse me, a fun map to watch because there is always some new tricks up for everyone or new tricks for everyone because everyone is still familiarizing themselves on what game style they should go for in this match because there's a very very significant difference right here in this matchup. And I will point you guys to that when this probe gets inside the base of Hidden as it is going to be scouting very very early. Surprisingly early. This is very early indeed. Uh, it's very early scout for Def. Uh, I, haven't I haven't repeated early enough. So yeah. Anyway, we go. we're just going to see typical op typical scouting right here for Def. So yeah, he's just going around, going around, just trying to make sure nothing funny is happening. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know that. Like... When you put a probe or any unit back there, this uh, this building suddenly like s slowly fades. Huh. So I guess that's gonna prevent everyone from uh, putting any hidden buildings right there. As we are gonna see the hatchery going down for hidden, so he's gonna open down as a hatchery first. Look at the production tab right now. A gateway is already making for our player death and also a forge wow a forge this is something different he might go for a cannon rush right here ladies and gentlemen i think he is gonna go for a cannon rush indeed as i think the player that oh the scout is still here and he's making a pylon right now ladies and gentlemen he's gonna make a pylon right here at the back or the main natural expansion of hidden so this is not gonna be good if this does go up it is almost completely GG and it did go down. Oh my god, this is not looking good right now for Hidden. He should be able to take this out. He should micro with those, all those probes as those this pilot is completely well placed. Then here we go, the point, first one cannon is about to be completed as this pylon is about to go down as well and this probe is still alive oh my god this is not looking good as a second phone and cannon is gonna go down wow i think he didn't need to cancel this as it is not gonna be secured if these two phone and cannons does go down and here we go pylon is gonna go down as well it doesn't need to go for those phone and cannons he does no need to go for this uh, uh pylon right here if it doesn't he's gonna lose this hatchery right here and here we go this hatchery does complete so i'm not sure what he can do about here as this pylon is about to be completed and oh my god, oh my god, Foden Cannon is already active and he's gonna, he's gonna lose all of his probe, he's gonna lose, oh my god, he's gonna lose his hatchery very very early in this matchup right here. And a Zelt coming in the frame gonna try to help out and the Zerglings are just gonna come in and I don't think they have, it is enough Zerglings right here to kill off those two command, or two, two Conan Cannons right there as this Zealot is hacking and hacking and hacking. So wow, this is a very turning to a completely surprise outcome right here for Hidden. I'm pretty sure he was caught off guard with that cannon rush, but then again, Dev always likes to go for this very quick harassment as a Protoss. I think it is the best thing to do as these Bailings are gonna try to go and kill off this Zealot. This Zealot is about to go down. No, this Zealot survived barely with 12 health. Wow, good job right there by Dev, completely successfully taking out that expansion right there of Hidden so he did not expect that and I think he is in a very bad shape right now as Death is just completely making more and more buildings the cybernetic score is going to be completed so I think the harassment did do the damage and pretty sure Death right there lost a lot of minerals look at the resource tab right now or look at the units lost right now as Death did lose 4 units and resources he lost oh my god 450 lost 450 but I guess he didn't lose that much compared to Death because Death lost also 300. So I'm not sure where that 300 came from. Maybe from the Foden Cannons or maybe the Pylon. The first Pylon is 100 and... Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe the second Cannon. No, the second Cannon did survive. So I'm not sure where those other 300 came from. But anyway, here we go. We are, you can see the Zelt is just gonna hack and hack and hack at this backdoor rocks. I'm not sure what the purposes are. Maybe for a late game harassment or a backdoor harassment. Very, very late though. 
as we are just gonna see if Def here is just gonna try to macro up as fast as he can as he does know that he's, he is in the lead right now and here we go plus one upgrade already for Dev so that's always good because that's gonna mean that those zealots or those zerglings need only need two slashes from the zealots to completely kill them off so yeah that's good very very good indeed as we are just gonna see 10 more zerglings already again from heated as he does want to take back that expansion that he really really desires and he really really craves for because there is almost no safe expansion outside anywhere else this is too far this is too exposed right here in the middle and this is almost the back door expansion for your enemy so yeah this is never good there's no more good expansions right here across the map so this is what actually makes this map very unique as this actually natural makes it much more important in getting it because as i have said there's no other expansion safe enough <laughs> even though that this backdoor expansion is completely safe there's no more other backdoor expansion that is safe enough as we are just seeing some pylons and some more gateways being built right now for our player def so three more gateways are on the way being morphed in already to warp gate technology good thing good job good job i really love that as we are gonna see the zerglings are gonna be trying to kill off the zerglings oh good job successfully killing off the swollen cannons and the pylon and the zealot completely finally killing off those structures which is very very pestering i really hate those proxy cannons which they just completely delay you and put you off guard on throughout the game so it's just gonna be you're gonna just gonna be panicking and panicking throughout the game but i don't think hidden is panicking right now because i know he is he has experienced this before and i think he knows already what to do after that initial harassment as there is four sentries and two zerglings or no four sentries a zerg zealot and a probe bro running in and gonna try to do some harassment as he's gonna making a pylon right here and killing off the zergling gonna make a pylon right there the Naga tower that's gonna allow him for easy warping in or faster warping in far faster reinforcements from as there is uh, actually a lot of zerglings in the mix right there i don't think it's gonna be enough though to kill off all these units and here we go we're gonna see nope he's not gonna go for a clash he's just gonna check everything out checking everything out i don't think he does see that there is an army right there as there is some bushes right there in the middle as here we go we are gonna see some warping in zealous right there as he knows that there's only some zerglings in the mix of army of hidden and zealous are the best counter two zerglings and but there are some five roaches already on the way right here and i don't think this is a good idea by hidden he might get uh, locked out of the way and the base as when hidden or when Dev's army goes up that ramp he's just completely gonna force field that all gonna try to kill and here we go we're gonna try to see hidden gonna try to go for a flank and we're gonna see that pylon is gonna go down for hidden or for the and force field's coming up and he's gonna try to save that pilot and he did oh my god surprisingly he did save up the pilot and slowly killing off those zerglings wow good job right here for you for death also a second pylon right here at the main ramp outside the base of hidden so this is not looking good right now for hidden as i think we are gonna see uh, the harassment continuing in the mice oh my god here we go we are gonna see stars already in the mix force field i mean shield already up for those sentries and we are gonna see initial push right now for both players he's gonna try to take out this roach and this roach one is very crucial and you need roaches to counter off all these units but then again there's a ton of roaches right here in the mix i think it is enough it does if he does know how to clear out or if he knows how to clear and stay clear away from those stalkers and just be stick near to the spine trust but no he's not gonna be able to the queen goes down those roaches go down oh my god this roach warren is about to go down as well but there is a spine crawler on the mix also so there is still four roaches in the mix right now look at the unit tab right now four roaches eight stalkers oh folks firing all oh, those and and the roach wine it does go down some broodling's gonna try to kill one of these stalkers but i don't think he will be able to and here we go this is not looking good right now for hidden as he does only have one spine crawler and a couple of hand and a handful of zerglings and zerglings finally popping out to help out the roaches and here we go death is gonna try to boot back but then again more reinforcements right now coming in for death as he is gonna be swarping and more zealous force field number two coming up right now for death and here we go he's gonna try to he's gonna push back that roach army very very successfully and a second queen goes up already for hidden he's not looking good right now as he is looking at all of his roaches the spine crawl does go down wow good job five more zerglings five more roaches uh, left right now and not be not in the well health as well losing one by one by one oh my god and the screen is gonna be fox fired out but there are some zerglings coming in in the mix i don't think it's gonna be enough though to kill off all these units there's all reason 
is very very big indeed oh my god and these saugers are gonna be gonna be pinned down right here gonna be cornered gonna be surrounded but not completely surrounded because there is a roach warrant in there and force fields good force fields right they're gonna prevent those zerglings away to catching up on those stalkers and here we go more zealots are gonna come into the mix and zealots are just gonna slice and dice all those zerglings and he's gonna focus fire again on the second roach warrant that was made by Heaton. so Heaton is in the big big trouble right now he's gonna focus fire on those drones those drones are gonna go down drones are gonna come in and fighting right now and GG from Heaton. good job wow good job very very good job right there by Heaton. it was very epic indeed so game number one goes for death 1-0 it is actually a best of five so 1-0 for death right now Heaton needs to catch up and needs to catch up very very quickly game number two coming right up Stay tuned.